Hello students, welcome to today's lesson on worksheets. I'm a Daisy. By the end of the lesson, the students should be able to open a worksheet, to be able to edit data on a worksheet, delete a worksheet, save data on a worksheet, format text, rows and columns. Now, what is a worksheet? A worksheet is a collection of cells organized in rows and columns. It's the work environment of every spreadsheet package. And for this lesson, we'll be using Microsoft Excel as an illustration app. And then what is a cell? A cell is the box that occurs at the intersection of a vertical column and horizontal row where the column and row meet it creates a box known as a cell and this cell is where we are able to enter data in spreadsheet so i'm going to take you on how to open a worksheet the simplest way is to search here just type excel the way you open on that application it appears here you click takes you to, my, to the Excel environment. Now this is our worksheet. Can you see cells? The different collection of cells. Yeah, and this is the column. This is the row. The column has a header, usually alphabets, and then the rows have numbers as their own identity. And these letters and numbers helps to give addresses or position to each cell. Excel requires that every cell should have an address that you can call up whenever you are using a formula. Like the first cell here is A1. Why is it A1? Because it's in column A and row 1. Let's say if, if we are here now, we are in column G and row 5. So the cell address is G5. I hope that's okay with cell address. So the the next thing is the sheets look at sheet one sheet two sheet three that shows that a a microsoft excel file consists of different sheets you can have you can work on different sheets at a time you can navigate through here here you can rename this sheet by right clicking can you see rename yes you can also delete the sheet from here you click delete you see sheet 2 is no longer there so that's it for deleting you can rename it class data and that's all you can add more sheets by clicking this particular symbol here you see we have sheet 5 so the next thing is entering data into a worksheet to enter data into a worksheet you have to make sure that the cell you desire to enter the data is active. Like A1 is the active cell here. You see it's noted with a thick border around it. If I take it to C2 now, you find out that C2 is the active cell. Can you notice the thick black border? Yes, it could be green too, depending on the version of Microsoft Excel you are using. So to enter data, you can enter numbers, letters, and formula. Let's say, for instance, we are entering letters A, B, C, D, E, or numbers, which can be 1, 2, 3, 4, and all of it. Then, to navigate on the screen, you can use the mouse pointer to go to the cell you are entering the data or you use the, the navigating key to scroll left or right or down or even up or you can click enter to go to the cell below so editing your work you can edit your work 
just like other Microsoft offices like Microsoft Web, you can Microsoft Word, you can select come to format. You can make it bold. Yeah, it's bold already. You can put it in italics. You can underline. You can change the font color. You see? You can also change the font size. Wow. The font type. So then you can just do a lot of things here to align either to the center, left or right. You can cut, you can paste. and others so how to save data on a worksheet to save data in a worksheet go to file if you are using 2010 version if you are using um, other lower versions you can go to office button so you see save you click it yeah it brings you to file explorer find name you enter any name of your choice. Let me just use choice here. Then save. You see the document name, the workbook has been renamed to a choice. You can choose any name of your own desire that fits the data you are presenting. Then the next thing is how to format text cells, rows, and column. So, let's say we want to enter this data here that is so long. You see, you want to enter this data here that is so long. I'm going to start by this. Okay, you see this particular text is spanning into the other cells. It has a seeded column A to B, C, D, and if I continue, it's going to even cover more. So we need to curtail this so that it stays just in a cell. So what do we do? To make your text stay here, you can do that by increasing the size of the column like this you take your mouse pointer to the column header drag right to increase or you drag left to decrease or you can also click wrap text can you see wrap text here once you click wrap text it helps you to place it below once you get to the end of this cell, it will continue to align below instead of crossing to the next column. So does it. We can also increase the row size or decrease the row size by taking your cursor to the row header. You drag up to increase. Okay, so we can also adjust the size of the row by placing it here to make sure that the mouse pointer changes to two opposite arrows. You can see one facing seven, the other one facing eight. You click, drag down. You notice an increment, right? You can also take it up 
to reduce it. So what is important is that you take it to the column or row header and the cursor changes it to opposite arrow like this. So I think this is pretty simple. So, so far, we've been able to learn how to open a worksheet, entering data into a worksheet, editing, deleting, saving data, then to format cells, rows, and column. So with this, I'm going to leave you with the exercise below. So you're going to practice this. Type this text here, this sentence. Type it in your cell A1. Then you're going to format it the way we did, either using wrap text or increasing or decreasing the column and row size and align it to only column A. Make sure it doesn't span to other columns like up to P, Q, as we have on the screen. It should only be contained in your cell A1. Thank you very much for watching.